Hey guys, should I just say welcome back to another Gears of War Ultimate Edition video. Today I'm going to be covering my Nasher tutorial video for the game, talking about the Nasher in depth, showing some of my knowledge with the weapon, which in the end hopefully helps you understand it and use it better within Gears of War Ultimate Edition. So starting off, we're going to be talking about center screen shooting, because within Gears of War Ultimate Edition, just like Gears of War 1, your bullets come from the center of the screen and not your gun barrel. The best way to find out exactly where the center of the screen is in the game, so you know where your bullets are coming from from is by using the d-pad selection feature as you can see in the gameplay as I constantly click the d-pad to have it stay on the screen there is four slots for each of your equipped weapons if you look directly in the center there is a box created by the edges of all the weapon slots so as I fire you can see that mainly all of the shots are inside this imaginary box I personally find this is the easiest way to mark where the center of the screen is in game so you can get used to knowing where your bullets are coming from as soon as you mentally learn where the center of the screen is while playing you'll be able to improve your game in general pretty much straight away. Next we're going to be moving on to all of the different shots you can perform with the Nasher shotgun within Gears of War Ultimate Edition. First things first though, the golden rule of the Nasher shotgun is using the right shot at the right time. Starting with the blind fire which is simply pressing the right trigger, this shot is usually used within close range gunfights so melee distance when enemies are very close to you as trying to aim in these close range gunfights will mostly get you killed unless you're pop shotting your enemies. Pop shot is a term for the shot when you just press the left trigger and near enough instantly shoot straight after. The moment you see the aim reticle you pop your shot off which is why it's called a pop shot. This shot is what you'll probably be using I would say at least 60% of your time playing all of the Gears of War games. The pop shot is like a blind fire but it allows you to be much more accurate as you have that slight few seconds with the aim reticle on your screen to line up your shot to make sure you hit all of your enemies. If you're missing quite a bit on the game right now when blind fire you'll probably find pop shotting your enemies a lot more successful in helping you hit your shots until you feel more comfortable with the Nasher shotgun overall to blind fire more often. The next shot is called the hard aim. This is when you fully hold down the left trigger to aim then shoot the moment you line up your aim reticle with your enemy. Using this shot will leave you stationary or standing which means you're an easy target for every time you hard aim an enemy player which is why you shouldn't be using it too often. The hard aim shot is great to target enemies who are at medium to longer distances like for example if they are running away with low health hard aiming will allow you to make sure you fire some more bullets into them hopefully ending up downing them and giving you a kill the blind fire the pop shot and the hard aim are the three most common shots used within any gears of war game as a player it comes down to your personal skill and remembering the golden rule of the nasher to learn when to use each type of shot set in certain situations which can't be taught but learned by yourself as you play more of the game now there's one more advanced type of shot that works really well with in Gears of War Ultimate Edition when using the Nasher shotgun. I perform this shot very very often because of how successful it is. However this shot is very skillful and may take a little while for you to learn how to pull it off in game. The term for this shot is called the back A. This certain shot allows you to use cover and with the center screen shooting take our enemies next to or even around the cover with pretty much staying in cover at all times. This shot is best suited to be used when enemies are behind cover or taking cover as it allows you to easily take them out in all situations which involve the cover in the game. As you can see in the gameplay, the shot is performed by pulling the left analog stick backwards to come off the cover, shooting and then pushing forward on the left analog stick and pressing A to get back into cover. Doing all of this in very, very quick succession, like it needs to be really, really quickly. In the next gameplay clip, you can see my other player doing the back A shot against me so we can see what it looks like from the other side of things. As you see on our screen, it doesn't even look like the player comes out of cover cover while performing this shot making it near enough impossible to counter as while performing the back A you're near enough in cover at all times. Once you've mastered this shot as you can see in the next gameplay clip I have you can combine the back A with wall bouncing which allows you to have more of an angle making it easier to get shots over cover to take our enemies who are literally just sitting on the other side. They are all of the Nasher shotgun types of shots that can be used within Gears of War Ultimate Edition and again the back A shot is extremely powerful but very skillful at the same time time so of course it will take a long time to learn it. Now that is my Nasher tutorial video there are other tips and tricks to do with movement
movement and sensitivity etc etc that will help out a lot when using the Nasha shotgun but I want to save them for their own videos as I wanted to keep this video all about the Nasha shotgun itself. Remember the golden rule of the Nasha shotgun during gameplay using the right shot at the right time will definitely help you out. As you play you'll learn whether either the blind fire, the pop shot, the hard aim or the back A shot will work best and of course center screen shooting is a thing so having all of that knowledge to now hopefully help you get better at using the Nasha shotgun in game after watching this video please make sure to leave me a comment down below if you found this video helpful at all give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you aren't already many many more tips and tricks videos for gears of war ultimate edition coming your way in the future thanks for watching and as always i shall see you in the next one Come on.